Chemist and material scientists study substances at the atomic and molecular levels and analyze the ways in which the substances interact with one another. Chemists and material scientists typically work in laboratories and offices where they conduct experiments and analyze their results. A bachelor's degree in chemistry or a related field is needed for entry-level chemist or material scientist job. Research jobs require a master's degree or a PhD and also may require significant levels of work experience. They plan and carry out complex research projects such as development of new products and testing methods, analyze substances to determine their composition and concentration of elements, and present research findings to scientists, engineers, and other colleagues. Chemists must have perseverance, communication skills, and math skills. Being a chemist is rewarding in so many ways. Chemistry is pretty much everywhere. From the air that we breathe, from the clothes that we wear, from the makeup, from the coatings in a car, from the paints, everything is related to chemistry. I provide scientific services to JSC. What we do is we analyze any material related to space exploration. It can be from the very basic polymer to samples that come from space station, from a sample that gets stuck into a astronaut glove to a contamination found in a um, shuttle window, anything or pretty much what you can imagine that anything material related from NASA, that's what we do in the lab. We never get the same sample twice, so it's challenging, but at the same time, it's a great experience because you actually use your knowledge. There are various types of chemistry, analytical, inorganic, physical chemistry. Uh, but I decided to become an organic chemist because to me uh, there is uh, creativity, uh, there's problem solving, uh, and there are things you need to put together. Uh, and those are things that have always fascinated me. I'm a cosmetic chemist, uh, specifically a lab manager in the hair color lab at L'Oreal USA. My team of chemists actually formulates or makes all of the products that you see on the shelves. So the, the hair creams, the lotions, um, the hair colors, the shampoos, conditioner, all those things come out of my lab. Brands such as Retkin, Matrix, and L'Oreal Paris. So one of the interests from my childhood that I take into the work that I do now is really my excitement and passion about science. I would say one of the talents that I take into the work that I do today is actually my public speaking abilities. Uh, so even at a young age, I was able to recite speeches in front of people and feel very comfortable doing that. And today I have the opportunities um, and the need actually to speak in front of senior executives on both an formal and an informal basis. And so that really comes in handy. Uh, you need to get involved in more of the sciences, uh, a little bit of the math. Uh, an understanding of problem solving and, uh, and engage in, um, in various activities that lead you to problem solve. Uh, including actually, I wouldn't even discourage sports, uh, or team sports, uh, because you do have a, a challenge and a problem as you're trying to win a game or score a point. Uh, and it's always fascinating um, to work in teams and how you can resolve. Just like studying in groups actually are very helpful because you have many people thinking in different ways and that's the way you solve problems. To keep learning about chemists, read through the information below.